How's it going everybody? Ben here from Northwest Backpacker. Let's make this hip belt. So the reason I chose two colors is because that was just what was left over from the Minimist pack. You can find out how to make a Minimist down below in the description. I have a full walkthrough on how to make the whole pack. And uh, so I had leftover pieces and I said, why not? It looks a lot cooler if you used the two-tone look instead of just like a single color. But you know, use what you got. So for this step, you're going to need four pieces total. Next, you're going to trace and cut your foam just like your fabric. Sandwich the material like this. Because the materials are so slippery, I found it really useful to use rolled tape to hold it together. And uh, you can always go back later and peel off the tape. If you use your needle as a pivot point, it keeps your hem consistent all the way around your material. Make sure you lock every stitch. So this stuff is called herringbone edging, and uh, the lady at the craft store said to use this. I had a different method in mind, but uh, this is what you see on all your professionally made packs, so I give it a shot. So this edging material is basically why I didn't include this part on the Minimist backpack. Uh, that's because the design of the Minimist was all about being doable for the first time sewer. I mean, you can learn this stuff pretty quickly, but it gets a little tricky when you start using this band in, this edge banding. Especially these angles right here, I had kind of a hard time with. So, I mean, you can learn it, you know, it's not impossible, but it's, it takes some fiddling to get used to it. So for the straps, I tried out two variations of the box stitch. I definitely recommend the second one, which is a box X stitch. It just looks a lot nicer. But these are both plenty strong to hold up.
and this one should actually be a box X stitch as well. But uh, my, machine, my machine was kind of struggling, so I just took it easy on it. Now, if you just wanted ultralight straps without any pockets, then you can just leave it right there. Um, but this is just a really easy pocket I decided to add on, and it adds a lot of functionality, so I think it's totally worth it. At this point, you're going to sew the bottom seam while the pocket is inside out. I use these marks as just a reference on where my stitch should go. They're just a guide though, so they don't actually have to go there. I found it helpful to use tape to secure the strap out of the way, and uh, this just makes sure that you don't sew through the pocket and the strap underneath it. A really cool thing about this project is that all of the hardware was salvaged from an old pack that I outgrew. I feel like it's really common once you switch to ultralight that you have all these heavy packs laying around, so why not make ultralight gear out of it? It beats sending it to the landfill. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for new backpacking videos every single week. Until next time, take it easy.